Thank you and welcome to the Square Work Media's World News segment show. Brand new and brought to you by the Gene Team Machine. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm your host, Square, and I'll be special reporting on these new topics and sources we have. But first, let's take a look at some of the uh, few recent clips. One second, guys. I'm going to beat the crap out of my kids, too. I'm going to go tell them I'm going to take them to their real dad's house and drop them off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my real dad. Yeah, I'm fucking tired. Shut up, little Robbie. I'm going to beat the crap out of my kids, too. I'm going to go tell them I'm going to take them yeah, to their real Yeah, this dad. week, Naughty News admitted, too, that he was going to go beat his kids. Our source, Books for Moses, reporting. I put the What you want for $3? No, I got $3. Oh, you got $3? Yeah. Okay. What you want for? What you trying to get for? Piece of crap. <laughs> this just in. Sugar Nova, a.k.a. Taco for Cox, wants and is addicted to crap. Now, this is a report we're going to touch on a little later on, but here's uh, some early footage of it.
sent me D or head to toe, she said I'm sharp. My entourage treat me with two, two, three, and stolen car. This they job. A nigga play with me, he gon' get sparred. This my granny sent me D or head to This just in. Mo Books for Moses is strapped and ready for that action if anyone wants to fuck around and find out. That's what that's what I look like, bro. Right now. Oh, that's exactly. Let, let what me I go look ahead. Like. Oh, come on, Naughty. That's an old picture. You got you got legs right there. Uh yeah. Well, it's. I mean, it's it's. it's that's what that's what no, I look like, bro. One. This is it. Right now, that's exactly what. Yep. This, as you guys can see it on the screen, Naughty as a newsman for YouTuber has been lying about having no legs for sympathy. He has both legs. He confirmed it, an earlier source said. And as you guys just saw on the monitors. Let me greet some viewers. Hello, KC Champs Mama. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Berlinetta. And everyone, I'm glad you're doing good. Yes. Welcome to the... Oh, before, uh, I almost forgot, guys. I'm sorry. I need to run this through a little bit. Uh, note the disclaimer. We are not a real news channel. But anyways, let us get to our first report, shall we? I kind of jumped and skipped. Uh, kind of got scattered brain. Report number one. JM has checked into therapy for his sexual frustrations. Recent progress suggests he is happy Books is taking care of of her. Her would be Misty. I'm going to have to check to make sure our writers, make sure to name people next time. All right, let's go back to the second report. Oh, and we have reports that he checked down somewhere near um, Anniston, Alabama. Okay. Nadia is a news, yeah. And now this came out, we want to thank our journalist books for Moses for doing the work that he does. It is a uh, very hard work. Uh, as we're going to be discussing here in just a little bit. But, uh, oh, never give up, folks. It's a great, great inspirational short. If that guy can do that on a skateboard, you know, what are you doing today? This was a storm that hit Louisiana and hit our Gene Team uh, member Books for Moses' property and caused some I'd say, me moderate to medium damage. Uh, luckily, not a whole lot to property, though, from what I'm hearing in our sources state. So we are thanking God for that. All prayers go out to Books. Um, see it better in like the uh, afternoon light. Like, and also, uh, I've gotten reports that he is getting, he's getting some of the tree uh, taken care of. I believe. I think we'll have an image of a chainsaw we can show here. Oh, That's a big tree. Yes. Oh yes. I want to. Uh, stop our normal news segment to bring to you the advisement of a potential predator that may be in your area in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma specifically. And that predator is not a, uh, we want to be a fair here. And uh, we are referring to this person as a predator because of their criminal background. They are not, however, a registered sex offender. So do not confuse the word predator with sex offender here in this news source. But Mr. Kyle Ray Vickery, in recent reports, has been uncovered even here that he made a threat of bodily harm and rape and planned to record the incident to a human being. And this is all on tape and we'll have it and we'll show you. But he wanted to give you his details so you can be aware of who he is and everything about it. They say they on a block, it's time to slide. Fuck them up. Some of his pen, uh, old charges of child abuse and assault and different things makes him very dangerous. Please, uh, if you know or see him anywhere, do not approach. 
treat with extreme caution. Hey, little bro walking up, masked up, suited up. Hey, catch him by that stove, up the pole, shoot it up. Hey, switch up on a Glock, make him hop, double dust. Domestic abuse, assault, you see it for yourself. I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. And, oh, uh, we have now the source of one of the notorious members of the hate group that has been attacking YouTubers. Um, this is his address. His name is J.M. Poser Exposer. He is uh, also responsible for misusing police resources and as well as also making threats and harassing and stalking others. I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. Yellow tape. So I have to listen to this fucking prison. Because I'm not the only one that can file an IC3. I can file IC3 too. After this man threatened to burn down my fire department. Hey, retard, how do you burn down the fire department? <laughs> or it's a like. What the fuck am I doing? I gotta give a like on that. So or it's a like. I couldn't take just a couple and not do them all. But there's a few folks that want to sit over in a armpit or books or gene or whoever the fuck. And if look, here it is, it's, it's just the way it is. If you support that bullshit that goes on. That's a loud thunder. Yeah, it's God. It's a good thing you, you did. You pointed it out, books. <sighs> Gangster Square. This is also another one of our new hey, reports. Yes. Matter of fact, before we get to this, let's go on the new. Let's continue with the news report, shall we? All right, report number three, Paula the Wacky Therapist and Seth the Creeper from the Lagoon in a white Ford box style truck visited Gene Team's very own books and left a package in his mailbox, an earlier source confirms. Uh, I don't know about that being such a good idea. But, you know, people really need to stop bringing real live stuff to you about YouTube over YouTube. I don't know. It's shame. Report number four. Mr. Fusion has been spotted showing cash apps he sent to my ex and Marissa. Latest developments is he can't understand why his money is not buying him the attention and affection he seeks. Let's go back to the video. Come on. If I send you my uh, my number, well, will you uh, text me? Hey, Casey. I'm single and ready to mingle. Um... Probably not. I'm what? <laughs> Rejected. And this is Mr. Fusion's house. Mr. Fusion is one of the longtime harassing and founding members of the Workiverse. He just went after people such as Johnny Goebel, Ian, uh, so many people now. Bird, uh, Iceman, Dumb Genius, you know, the list just goes on. We actually like to refer to him as Mr. Confusion. But just for everyone's awareness, he is in Macon, Missouri. Um, he is a 40-something-year-old male, white male. And he has a cat named Bob. And he likes to go by Mr. Fusion TV on YouTube. His real name is Michael Gandy. And if there's any ladies out there that are looking for... Somebody really good at making a propaganda source as a YouTube channel and picking on smaller channels and just generally being a douche and fucking obnoxious asshole. Please hit up Michael Gandy at 303 Macon. Not a bad house and cars, actually. 
shout out to him, the work reverse for his work and stuff he's done. Lord knows where, well, we may be without him. All right. And moving on to report number five. Rachel Grissom, D licensed nurse from Tennessee who diverted narcotics, earlier official report confirms, has spoken about Square and the Workyverse in support of their criminal activities after being a victim and docked with a minor child and coming to Square for advice. Whew. The flip flopping is strong with this one. Report number six. Everyone, please pay your respects and keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Gene Team leader Dumb Genius has suffered a close and dear loss. His friend Big Pokey passed away on Father's Day. All of our love and prayers with Big Peace family and friends from us at the Square News and Gene Team regime. Shout out and rest in peace, Big Pokey. Report number seven, Iceman, the original cat daddy, is back online and home from a trip away. Please be sure to check out his channel and Dr. Survivor, a.k.a. Mama Ice, his YouTube pages at FreezerBurn, underscore, 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 FreezerBurn, underscore, 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 and at un Dr. Underscore Survivor. Report number eight, Filthy Animal docks an innocent minor child earlier this week and showed how filthy he really is. Reports say he was confronted and showed no remorse. This is just the latest we have in, so stay tuned. Report number nine, our sources indicate No Life Mike, a.k.a. Michael Sinks, will be in court for his felony charge next month, just in reports he may be served civil legal papers at any time an anonymous source has stated. Report number 10. Storm has hit Books for Moses property, as you all know, and caused some minor to medium-sized property damage. That's more like moderate to medium. Uh, again, going to have to get with the writer. Recent sources say he is dealing with the problem, and luckily nothing and no one of importance was injured. That is our top reports and things we will be uh, kind of going over and talking about tonight. Let's check the comments. <laughs> yes, 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 guys, yes. Yes, I plan I plan to start doing things like this. Uh, I know this is a really short starter episode, obviously. I don't have a lot of material. I kind of did it off. Yeah. One moment, please.
And we are back, guys. We are back. How's everybody doing? Well, I'm glad to see these these uh, com compliments. Yes, I am trying to learn, guys. Uh, sh what? You got to be kidding me. That dude never snipes. That's a first. Scooter. Go spend time with your, with your, with your, please. All right. This is, this is all I'm doing. This is just a startup episode. And the response I got from everybody. Uh, thanks, Carrie. I'm glad you're doing great. Chrissy, uh, seriously, you're, I like to think of you as a friend. I have nothing but, but care. Um, uh, for, for you and, and all you guys. I mean, really, I thank all you guys because without you, I would be, you know, I wouldn't be anything. So, and I know I can sometimes get on some of your nerves and stuff. And I just ask if you can to try to bear with me. I'm, I'm trying to get my footing. This, uh, this first year, or this first past year leading up and getting on here has done a lot. I mean it, Miss Chrissy. I like to think of you as a, as a good friend that I not only could joke with, but you know, you you know that I I mean my jokes in a, a good way. I don't I don't mean them to be in a negative way, and uh, and that's how I've always felt. That that's why. That, that's why I, that was my answer to that question. No, I Mike wanted that, you know, because, you know, I, I can appreciate someone that, that looks good or is beautiful or whatever and not have a urge to want to bone every single person, especially a girl. And I hated that, that these people sometimes try to put that stereotype just because I hung out and, well, I started doing a lot of, uh, I think I, I've done a lot of panels and shows with women. You know, so I, I think it's just it's just another way of them trying to attack. I know that. I know we are, Casey. I know we are. I just, you know, sometimes I need to be in better. What I meant, bird, it's not what I was thinking you know, that there were some secrets that y'all are keeping for me or anything. I'm just saying, like, I'd like to be more, like, in connected in communication with you guys so I know all that's latest going on so I don't make like some stumps on lives or panels and things like that that's all oh, I'm feeling a little bit better uh, I know my dad's doing all right at least because while well, fixing my grandpa's phone earlier I saw that he had texted my granddad But he can't call me, not even on Father's Day. And so, yes, these news reports, I mean, I, I may come down here and, and do some outrageous stuff some days. Friends with no faces, isn't that what they were all scared about? Uh, I don't know. I, I tell you what, like. I guess that is true. Of course, that's the same thing, like, with me, kind of, like, you know, if I'm talking to you on a personal or backdoor kind of thing, like, I've at least got to know your name, your face, you know. Hold on, let me check this link out, uh, Crack Squad, that you just posted. These new segments, um... I'd like to do them with Bird or KC sometimes, um, especially if they have anything, or books, especially books. Oh, my God. 
um, I think me and books could like really get creative, maybe a little too creative, too out there with it, but making reports about some of these members, obviously it's some of that stuff you, you saw me put up is real and some of it is fake, you know, made up. But that's the whole purpose is this is all supposed to be, uh, you know, for entertainment and a skit. And so I may use real elements, but most largely like the JM seeking uh, sex counseling treatment, you know, stuff like that. That'll make us laugh and it'll get them pissed off, you know, and that's that's where I, I think I found something. And I like what you said, Crack Squad. Yeah, parody. There you go. Exactly, a crack squad. All right, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna re react to this that uh, Carrie uh, gave me because it, it, I can see it's got Jason in it, and Jason and Freddy horror is a big thing in my. So I'm gonna react to this. We're gonna close this out. Um, this new segment. Uh, Dean in here. Booski and Gene in here. I thought she said Booski and Jan. I thought they might be in here. All right, you guys. So here we are. Chasing Voorhees. Every life I take, every breath you take, parody by the Merkins. Shout out to the Merkins. Let's check this out. <laughs> I guess that's supposed to represent uh, this is for he's <laughs> you know this would be actually you know this this would actually be a really 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 good um, song for the work yours oh, I love it Terry was right these guys whoever made these guys that made this look good. I tell you, yeah, you could tell this is, man, this has been done with good editing. It's got a reference to Freddy in it, too, looks like. I'm skipping it around a little bit because if I'm trying to learn how to do this without getting the video copy hit so it can't be monetized in the future. So that's why I'm not covering all of it. But if you guys look at this, it's really good. It's in no water repeated. <laughs> this is actually really good. On the shores of my lake. Did I realize? Ugh. Yeah. Only a face a mother could love, Jason. All right. We'll definitely have to check those out. Uh, make sure y'all check out the Merkins. 
uh, I will be checking them out too. Thank you, Carrie, for that. Now, let me see if maybe just by reacting to it like that and skipping around it, see if that gets it clicked or not. No sound. Oh, oh no! I I didn't mean for it to not have sound. Um. Here, hold on. Let me let y'all hear some of it. I'll be stalking you. Y'all see that? And like, they did a really good, you know. be stalking you but yeah that was a good um uh, that was a good parody carry or crack squad appreciate that yes please all y'all in the back pussies hit the like oh that's not a bad idea i may think of that i may try to do that may have to do it on mobile i don't know i'll have to figure some of those things out i don't have a a face swap app but you know i, I want to start making uh content and i'm got i want to uh use some of like dumb jeans you know music that won't be copyrighted as the intro uh i like some of his songs and you know as long as he's okay with that and uh or books you know some of the books is funny songs and stuff like i could use that and um you know just going to be really careful what i copyright and stuff but i wanted to create and show the the idea for the theme of this new show and uh you know with bringing up the reports on the bottom and and, and covering it and maybe given a little added uh, comment at the end of the report for laughs and giggles. You know, that, that was my idea. And so uh, I don't have a lot of things in this brand set up just yet. But Bird put together something where I could do this episode really quickly. So I'm, shout out to her for that. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I need to, um, that's the thing, though, with Wondershare, like, I got Wondershare, Filmora, and it's good, but, like, I don't know, I think on, there's a lot of effects and stuff that you actually have to buy extra, which I'm not happy with getting it, uh, you know, but I, I have um, I have this mobile software that that I mean made I mean I, I don't know I might be able to get that pinata farms or whatever for the computer I don't know it may just be mobile Yeah, I gotta figure it out. So that's why I'm gonna be taking some time in development, spending some time with Bird, and I may still do some regular shows. But guys, if I come on here and I'm debunking anything new, like that they're doing or try to go around doing, don't, don't, please, don't freak, think that I'm freaking out or anything or like reacting. Uh, maybe even if some of it could appear as what giving them what they want, like 
uh, I'm sticking by what I put on the community post. And I'm talking about the past uh, stuff, like that, you know, that upsets me or whatever they've done. Um, unless I can mention it, you know, of course, without getting upset, which some stuff I can now. However, they're like needs, you know, if anything ever ever happened to me or any of these people, I'm, I just would at least feel a little bit better knowing that there's YouTube videos and recordings and people recording this to make sure just in case, you know, something happened, it'd be out there. And, you know, if anyone from them is ever involved in anything on the outside further than what they've already done, hopefully they'll be caught. Because these people are not our friends. They were never trying to help me or any of that stuff. It's all lies. And the sooner some people, and I'm talking about the people that's in the middle, the sooner that they get that in their head and about a lot of other things and other people that's in our group and stuff, as soon as that moment happens, you're going to see a, an exodus. There's going to be an exodus. Mark my words. And that exodus isn't going to, you know, an exodus is a big, like, migration. You know, it's not going to be coming from the gene team. It's going to be coming from the workiverse. And it's already started in small ways. So... Yes, yes, she did. Yes, she did. She's done it all. She's done it. She's done it all. Exactly. 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 Who's minor children? And, you know, just like the, the Rachel thing. You know, I had to put her in the news segment. That's what it is, Berlin, at a movement of the people. Movement of the people because we're tired of filing reports and waiting around and complaining all the time. We may still file reports for things that are necessary to do and do what we've done, but we're going back to our roots of trying to create content. And uh, if that content since they are so persistent on staying in our sphere our sphere of reality well you can be integrated into the parody com content we'll see how long you like it but guys i appreciate miss uh yes april not rachel i'm sorry miss april excuse me on that uh mispronunciation i've got to go brownie has his training appointment at eight I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Thank you for turning in to the Gene Team Regime News. Gene Team Regime Strong. Worky verse wrong. Give a fuck about who? No one? That's right. Fuck who? Fuck them all. That's right. That's right. All right, everybody. Remember. Be vigilant and be guarded. Till next time, I'm your host, Square. Good night.